What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with a Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 video. And in today's, we managed to get our hands on, I think last Car Mechanic Simulator, we got our hands in the middle of an auction, we got uh, a Bentley T-Series popped up out of nowhere. Uh, the thing with these cars is that they are really, really cool. Let's take off the hood really quick. The engine in this car is completely and utterly different in every way than every other car out there uh or at least in this game uh like every single part is different and it's just really really cool so today as i guess you, you probably guessed looking at the title and looking at this car it's gonna be a restoration and it's gonna be one for the ages because this thing is like wow so by the end of it, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh, no grills you can pull off, no bumpers. What is that? That's suspension. All right, I think it's all stripped then. Well, let's head over here to the bench really quick and repair this. And somebody said if you hold shift and click, you don't get all those annoying things popping up. Uh, so we lost a few parts, but thank you for whoever, I can't remember who it was, uh, but thank you for uh, writing that down below in the comments that you can just write that or hold shift click and it easily works. You don't have to worry about hitting uh, escape every single time. All right, so we know we're going to need a trunk because we didn't have one of those. Oh, and this, this banana color is disgusting. Um, so we need a right tail light. Oh, so you can hold shift on everything. Wow, that's actually very, very helpful. Okay, so we need both right side doors. Um, right door. All right, door. All right, slap this one on. All right, and then we'll hop over here. Oh, get, oh I got to put new hood, new right. Okay, so we need a right headlight, bumper, and a hood. That's a lot of parts. As you guys can see, what? Totally bought a bumper. Oh, I bought I bought the rear bumper. Oops. It's a good thing I got two hundred thousand dollars. Did none of these doors survive? Wow. All right, now we're gonna open up our inventory, and you see from the past jobs, we are just like. Full of junk, so we're gonna sell all that, and I'm gonna go through and just sell everything basically. Actually, you know what we're gonna do instead of you guys having anybody having to hear all that? We're doing that. Sell all. I don't care if it's hundred percent. We're selling it. All right. Um. Now, oh look at those rims. They look awful. Tossing this guy over here. All right, there we go. It's looking classy now. Let's go for the paint shot. Um. Huh. Let's try and think of a color that will match. Maybe a silver. Let's see what we can do. You know what? Uh, let me think. Silver or not black, not blue, not red, not green. None of those weird colors. Um. You know what? Let's go silver. 
Classic. It'll, it'll look nice. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Matches the uh, red velvet interior. Yeah, that, that looks pretty classy. That's that's good. That's okay. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That tip piece right there is probably $5,000. No, probably not $5,000. Probably $1,000, though. I don't doubt that it would be very, very, very expensive. All right, so this looks like we're just going to tear apart this entire engine here. And sorry if I'm a little slow on this one. I have never taken apart one of these T-Series motors, so... It might be a tad bit confusing in some areas. Everything usually tends to be straightforward, though. See, like, look at the alternator for that. It's so freaking weird. Just can't remove that water pump yet, either. Anything else? What is this? A timing cover? That's the timing cover? That timing cover is absolutely tiny. Okay, so you can't remove this until you remove this. And we also need to remove that intake. Yeah, uh, you can't move that to move that. Oh, that's a weird air, air filter pipe. All right, wow, that's... Oh my gosh, look at all these bolts. This is insane. Oh, and two more. Dang. Say, and the, as of now recording this, it is New Year's Eve, and I just want to wish everybody out there a happy New Year's. Wonder if everybody's got some New Year's resolutions out there. Um, my New Year's resolution is to basically, no matter what, always put out at least one video a day. Um, because I recently got my wisdom teeth out. And for a while there, I didn't put out a video for like, I think it was two or three days. And I felt really, really bad about that. And uh, but I couldn't like talk at all. So I think that's gonna be my resolution is just always to put out a video, especially a car mechanic simulator, because I know a lot of people enjoy that. So that's gonna be my goal is to always get one of those videos out. If not every day, but at least at least something out. I would like it to be Car Mechanic Simulator. And then I also want to go to the gym more because I go to the gym now, but I only go like two times a week if, I, if I'm lucky. But I'm in college, so times can be really, really, really hectic. School can be really, really hectic. But anyways. Ah. And they say, if you guys want to, I'd actually be pretty interested in knowing what everybody's New Year's resolution is. So, if you want to, just type it down below in the comment section. I'd be, I'd be more than happy to hear it. Maybe because I like to see what everybody else is striving for in 2017. Alright, we're going to pull out some of these. Happy that we don't have to take out the valves. Because usually you take out the valves and everything along with the uh, heads. But I'm happy you don't have to, because that, that would just add another step. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for that part. Alright, let's go underneath. Alright. So we're going to tear off this front end first, before we get up underneath the engine. Mainly because, oh, hey, they got discs on this. That's nice. I did not think that they'd have any discs. Go, 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 go. Oh, hey, the suspension's basically the same as every other car, though. So this, that's nice. I know all these parts. Just that engine is a little weird. I wonder if they have any performance parts for this. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do, put performance parts in this, though, because this isn't really... What would you say? A performance-based vehicle? And I'm not really striving for it to be a performance-based vehicle right now. I think I'm... I don't know if I should keep it or sell it. Um, you guys tell me below if you guys think I should keep it or sell it. Uh, because I won't I won't get rid of it this, this match so far. What is that? Air filter? What the heck? 
Okay, yeah, but you guys tell me below. Do you think I should keep it or sell it? Um, I, I'll keep it right now until like I, this video goes up and I start hearing some responses from everybody. And then in the next video, I will either keep it or sell it. And if I keep it, I will overhaul the engine and do performance parts on it. And it'll be a nice, really nice thing because the car will already be perfect, 100% condition, and I'll just add some performance parts and see what we can push th this engine out to. Because you know, yeah, it's a V8, but I don't know what it is, and it's Bentley, so I'm sure it has plenty of power. But yeah, no, you guys just let me know below, keep it or sell it. And then I will wait until... I see what you say. Alright. Oh yeah. Gotta pull out the drive shaft. Oh, we can't even see him now. Alright, take out the gearbox. Oh, there you go. Big flywheel. Alright, is that it for that part? Alright, that's it for that part. We're gonna jump back here to the suspension, pull this off really quick. Is that, is that a small leaf spring suspension? What is that? It is a leaf spring, but it's got shocks. Hmm, that's weird. I do not know what that is. Right. What's this part called? It's called like a lower solid axle control arm. That's what it is. So I guess this just, this is what holds, this part is what holds all of this up from shaking off like this this determines how bouncy it is basically uh and this is basically what absorbs the shock let's see right now this absorbs the shock and this bounces the car out yeah 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 because it's a shock absorber yeah obvious obviously i don't know what i was what i was thinking there for a minute i got really confused i took a class in high school actually on cars and everything and i that's pretty much where I learned like everything that I know about engines. Um, it was actually a rebuild class. We rebuilt the, uh, I think I rebuilt a two or 1998 Nissan Maxima. It was a V6 3.0. It was a, uh, it was a pretty fun experience. I really, really enjoyed it. That's probably one of those things that like really pushed me into like doing like or just like being involved with cars in general because like on like video games and stuff yeah i'm like really involved with cars but like in real life i do a ton with cars so that's something if you guys really like this i say i really really advise that you should check it out pistons or check it out if your if your school offers it offers it definitely there's this engine block yeah so this is a special engine block for just the t-series all right, toss it back up. Got to pull out that crankshaft. I think there might be something else we got to pull out. Is that a camshaft too? Yeah, we got to pull out the camshaft when we go back up. Oh, I forgot to empty that oil into there. Dang it. All right, everything is stripped out of there. Car is now bare. Yeah, it's sitting about a $15,000 value as of right now, which is... Okay, I think I... Let me think really quick. I think we spent about 7 on this, which is weird. Because it's a Bentley. But anyways, we'll hop over here. Look at all that. Alright, so we're just going to start on our repair list really quick. I'm just going to hold shift like that one person showed me, or told me. And we're just going to go through... Man, that destroyed sound is awful. Oh, I thought we were going to lose that engine there for a second. We lost the rim. No, we lost the head. Keep going, keep going. Oh, 
we didn't we didn't lose the engine or head right there. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Oh, I hate that sound. It's awful, awful sound. All right, and I think that is all that we have done so far. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna gonna end the video here, guys. Uh, next video we will be putting everything back together, running it on a dyno test, seeing it, seeing what we can hit on that quarter mile drag, and then by then I will have a good note on whether or not you guys want me to keep it or sell it and or yeah yes let's split this into two you guys will be able to tell me if i'm keeping it i will put performance parts in it but for not keeping it i won't so keep that in mind when you say keep it or don't if you want to see performance parts then keep it okay or you could say put performance parts but still sell it i guess you could say that too just Lord. are those oh look at that those are still yellow even though that's orange ha <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. That's a little glitch. If you guys liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I post daily content, usually, usually. I post daily content, uh, and I will see everybody in the next video.